when he's not known as the super handyman around town or as the year-round Santa donating to so many low-income families. He's simply known as Coach Joe Coelho of the Royal Basketball Academy, a superman in the eyes of the community in which he touches. I think the uh, Royal Basketball Academy is clearly one of the more special experiences going on for youth kids here in the community of Eugene. What I see that Joe is giving to this community is he's raising a group of kids to have the kind of attributes, the kind of moral fiber, the kind of attitude that we want to have. He doesn't do it um, for money. He does it from his heart for the community. And he's just really developing them and inspiring them to be good human beings and learn how to play basketball in the meantime. He loves to think of other people and how can he make this a better place? How can he make Eugene a better city and, and teach kids how to do that so that that carries on? He never takes a day off and he's there every single Saturday. He has not missed a Saturday available to the public in I, I've, the last two years that I've been there. He would go three times a week. He would take groups of kids all summer, all summer long and they would dribble two to four miles up and down the, the bike path on Beltline, off Royal there. And when they first started doing it, of course, you know, they noticed there's a lot of litter and the path is kind of this broken glass all over and things. And so he said, we're going to bring garbage sacks, someone's going to carry one, we're going to pick stuff up as we go. As we dribble, we'll stop and, and we'll work a little bit and we'll dribble and we'll work a little bit. He's trying to get the Academy to show, to show the community that it's all about participation. And the culture that's created there is far beyond sports, and it's something that I think every parent would uh, embrace having their child in. Thank you, Coach Quayle! Well, how have your children spent their summer? Were they productive? Just ahead, we'll show you some kids who dribbled their time away and gained confidence at the same time. We'll be right back. Bouncing basketballs mile after mile, day after day, until they reach their goal, a hundred miles of dribbling. It's basically for kids to have a goal. You know, if you say, hey, let's try to dribble a hundred miles, it sounds just, wow, like impossible. But it's much like the theory of eating an elephant. If you take a bite every day, you can eat an elephant. Well, Joe Coelho says reaching and teaching the goals give kids confidence and helps develop their skills. Okay. He started the academy three years ago with eight kids. Now they have about 70 dribblers aiming at 100 miles and beyond. Probably they'd rather do that than eat an elephant, don't I, you think? I would think so. Yeah, yeah that's great. Well, that's super. Well, 100 miles. We're not sure if anyone knows the answer, but these kids could easily find out. They're bouncing toward a 100-mile goal and beyond. Their story next. The Royal Basketball Academy in Eugene. From the time school was out for summer until the back-to-school bell rings, they've had one goal in mind. Dribbling, dribbling, and dribbling. These kids are bonkers about bouncing. We do it so we can get better at basketball. It helps basically everything in our game. Dribbling with a goal in mind, 100 miles by the end of the summer. And after that, they've got some other goals. Play in the WNBA. I'd like to play in the NBA. That would be really, really cool. Uh, my main goal right now is just to make it to Varsity High School, and then I'll see what I can do after there. But for now, it's four miles once a week for the entire summer. These 12- and 13-year-olds are paving the long path of practice. It helps me because, well, dribbling so much, you control, you get better at controlling the ball and then just getting in shape. I can shoot better. I, I've, I have better sportsmanship. I have a lot of other stuff, too. Stuff like character. When I drive by things like that in my car, uh, my mom and my parents say, wow, look at those people and they're working so hard. I bet they're going to do great things with their lives. So we hope that uh, people driving by in cars say the same things about us. And after a summer of ups and downs, blistered feet and hot weather, these ballers feast on the sweet taste of success. All the kids' miles are recorded and some have reached the 100-mile goal and are now working on 200 miles. 
Jackie yeah. Ettinger heads to the Royal Basketball Academy for a little round ball with some up-and-coming hoopsters. All right, everybody, lace up your sneakers. We're hitting the court with the top trainers at Royal Basketball Academy. But first, I think Jacob could use a little help with the balls. Looks like he's got his hands full. Sheesh. Uh-oh. I think Matthew's a little bored. He's ready to play. Let's scrimmage. All right, we've got the shirts versus the skins, or as we like to call them, the muscle boys and the cool dudes. All right, let's play. And check out Jacob. He's got some moves. Spinning, driving, and scoring. All right. Give me five. Yeah, that was awesome. Meanwhile, little Brayden's getting antsy on the sidelines. Mom, I want to play too. Okay, back to the action. Uh-oh, looks like trouble in the corner. Jacob and Trent fighting for the loose ball. Hey, I'll give it to you. Good idea. Let's take a break. Whoa, I think Bryce was a little thirsty. Meanwhile, Braden says, if you guys are going to rest, I'm going to hoop it up. Come on, Mom, let's go. Okay, halftime's over. Let's hit the court again, because the skins are looking to score. Oh, good try, Garrett. Then Jean-Luc says, hey, let me give it a shot. Finally, it's Lincoln, making it look easy. So wish. All right, time to go. Great job, everybody. Stop! We'll see you next week.